Now, obviously, over here we went through some basics. You can make shapes. I don't like that the Taurus ate everything. I'm just going to delete that. That's fine. There, I have a tunnel. Not much of a map, but I guess you can put a player on the top or in the tunnel, and then when they walk out of it, they fall to their deaths. Uh, so, as an exercise to you, go and create a simple thing. It'll prove that you kind of understood the first part of this, so you can make a CSG box. You make it real big. You make it real big in this direction. You make it... Oh. Then you make it real small. Real short. Grab it by changing over to grab mode. You grab the little up arrow. Make sure you're actually touching the CSG box. And you just drag it down a wee bit. There you go. It's slightly under the ground. Not that the ground plane really matters. You can set it wherever you want. But let's say it's there. We can grab our CSG box. We can drop it down onto the ground. And now you could drop a character in here and you could run around. In fact, to prove it, let's add a character. We'll drag him over here and then we will see the problem that I've created for myself when we run this scene. We'll call it what it is. Because your character's gonna fall and fall and fall and fall. So I mentioned it earlier, we forgot to go into here and turn on collisions. Collisions done, run it again. Look at that, I stopped falling. Uh, this thing over here, I think we did put on collisions. No, we must not have, so I can run straight through it. So let's come back on to here. Uh, so, our CSG box, we no longer have collisions option. Weird. Our CSG box, that subtracts from it, nothing there. Uh, oh, I'll move that up to the top. So the CSG thing for collisions is always handled at the top. So here I have a use collisions. If I stick this into a CSG combiner, my use collisions has vanished. And that's because the CSG combiner takes over and sets everything. So I just have to click use collisions once on the combiner at the top level and everything under it will now have collisions. So if we run this scene again, I can run face first into this wall and it stops me. And I can go through this little tunnel. So go make yourself a little demo level and once you're ready to learn how to make a character, come on back and we will have a look through what I've made.